Hi everyone, uh, good evening. Uh, we're the third team from Rowan University tonight. Um, and uh, so we thought of a um, situation where we would need to implement something in the real world, and we came up with what's called the WatchBot. So we thought of the technical challenge to be implementing a motion detection, implementing motion detection to secure an unmonitored area with uh, limited resources. And uh, we analyzed that the situation, I mean, the product would have to be mobile, it would require no installation, and it should be cost effective. Uh, so, so our solution to this problem, which was uh, you know, being able to monitor an area that maybe a person can't be in 24-7, uh, was what we call the washbot here. Uh, basically, our, our design is to have this robot roam around a room or uh, you know, an urban area, and basically every, every once in a while, you know, whatever you, you set the parameter to be, to scan for motion uh, for as long as you'd like to scan for it. Uh, and if it sees motion, it, it you know, sends, sets off, off an alarm. Uh, currently, right now, it's only setting off an LED, but you know, eventually you would set it off to either send you a text message or an email or something like that. Um, and then you could also implement on top of it you know, a camera, uh, a webcam or something like that to, you know, so, so that you can receive the data of what it is that, that tripped the sensor. Um, so we're going to go back. Yeah. Um, there are some limitations, of course, to our bot. And the most important one is it can only work on the first floor. We have not mastered stairs. <laughs> <laughs> At least upstairs. I mean, downstairs you got to roll off. <laughs> um, our second one is you, we do not know what we are detecting. So it could be a burglar or it could be a book falling off the desk. So that's our second worst limitation. Our third one is we can't really control the sensitivity of the motion detector. Um, like we can we can control the distance at which it detects, but we don't we can't control like how slight something has to move. So for example, if you know. Uh, uh, if there is a person in the room and he moves, you know, just just half an inch, it, you know, it, it may not, it might not pick him up. Um, so if if we had a more sensitive, uh, you know, PIR sensor, that, that that would solve that problem. So um, what we have here is a working prototype. It was built um, using the Lego NXT kit as a base, and we used the the uh, motor, motors from the Lego, which are uh, servo motors, and um, I built the frame around it all together. And then um, we have an Arduino that uh, is controlling everything, the motors and all of these sensors. So we have three uh, ultrasonic sensors to sense some distance or to see an object that is uh, in front of you. And then this uh, little bolt thing is uh, the PIR sensor that's going to check for motion. So um, we do a quick demo. Warming up. Obviously, this is you know, a bad room to detect motion. In so it'll, it'll keep going straight, but when we just give it a wall. Let's stand in front of it. Actually, it stops to check for motion now once it sees motion. Well, it doesn't see it, well, so it should have gone out. Alright, now we just stop. And now we have a blinking LED showing us that we have a motion going on. And we set so once it detects motion, until somehow you clear the signal that you've seen it's activated, it will not reset, so it won't actually do anything until the LED stops blinking. And the current way is just to reset it. So the social impact of this is obviously, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a very cheap way uh, to get security anywhere, and obviously more security is more safety. Uh, and, you know, the, pet, the potential this has, you know, it's, it's very cheap. We built it for under $100. Um, it didn't take us long. We, we, we did start before today. Uh, this, is about, this is day three on our project. Day one was basically the you know, design process and then building the frame. Uh, yesterday, we actually got the uh, Arduino motor shields to control the motors. Uh, and today, we basically finished it up with all the sensors and whatnot. But, uh, this works. This would work right out of the box. And like I said, it's under hundred dollars. There's nothing like it on the market right now. The best, uh, you know, motion, uh, moving motion tracker is you know a webcam that you hook up in one stationary spot, and you know it, it constantly scans back and forth across the room. Um, but there's nothing that, that we found on the market that really you know scans an entire uh, house or you know a school or uh, or abandoned building that gives a giant break into the right. or some sort of security uh, breach. So. That's our project. Thank you.